We are MDT. We design, test, and create precision rifle chassis and accessories to help you shoot better. All right, I'm MDT team shooter Keith Baker, and I'm here to talk to you about one of my 22s. This is a 22 I use in a lot of competitions. I started with a Rimex action. I wanted a repeater action that I could use, you know, 12 and 15 round magazines for the PRS and NRL type competitions. This exact one here I use in some bench press competitions. So I wasn't allowed to put a tuner for some of the classes that I shoot. I have another identical one to this with a tuner on the end. I'm running the regular Rimex magazines here with a mag extension to allow me up to 15 rounds for some of those longer stages. As we go through, I installed it in the MDT ACC chassis. I've gone to the reduced length of pull buttstock because uh, my traditional match rifle runs a shorter length of pull for recoil management. And I want this to, to mirror that for either practice or in competition so I don't have to uh, adjust my fundamentals. I've got our leak cheek rest on here, which leans slightly forward so it falls away. And it's the same as my match rifle. I do have some weights in this chassis here. I've got full internals. I've got an external rear and two external fronts. The reason I do that is I want this to, to match up exactly to my regular competition chassis. So if I am shooting a uh, NRL 22 match or PRS, a 22 rimfire series match, that basically, Everything for that is just good practice for the center fire series. Move forward, I have the Baker wings on the side here. I use these to stabilize the rifle on a bag for multiple positions. I've also gone to the uh, MDT MV3 level, send it type level for the rear. On a uh, rim fire, it's, it's more important to have that rifle perfectly level than really just about any, any, anything else. I mean, the trajectory of that cartridge runs so high that as it cants a little left or cants a little right, just a degree can throw you way off target. I run the one piece mount from MDT, same as my comp rig. It just mirrors my comp rig. Uh, the most important piece on this, you know, is also then the scope, because if I can't see it, I can't hit it. So I run a Gen 2 Razor on this with a uh, second level on the top and a data card holder. I also use the MDT two pull sky pod. So for about any position that I want to build, I can go all the way flat or lift it all the way up. As I go into the barrel, this barrel is chambered from ice rifles. I chamber a lot of 22 barrels. This particular barrel is a uh, 12 twist Krieger barrel, cut rifle barrel. And I also have it taper lapped, which helps it shoot a lot of ammo very well. And it also makes a big difference outside 150 yards when I get in that two, three and 400 yard window that extra stabilized bullet tends to shoot better a little bit farther. I also use the Premier grip on the rear. I like the smaller grip, it's more comfortable for my hand and it's, again, it mirrors my competition rig. I run a Bix and Andy Tac Sport Pro trigger, again, just because it mirrors my, my rig, but I like the consistent break. This rifle weighs about 19 pounds, 19 to 20 pounds. I have a 26 inch barrel on here uh, and I balance it at about three and a half to four inches in front of my magwell, which is to the center of my bag. So when I'm running off a barricade and I decide to put a bag underneath the middle of the rifle, it balances evenly right there. 